This is a brief video review of the Lenovo ThinkPad T450 laptop for use in 2023 and onward. This particular version of the laptop shipped with an i5-4300U CPU at 1.90 GHz, 2 cores, 4 threads, with a turbo frequency of 2.9 GHz. I currently have 8 GB of DDR3 1600 MHz RAM. Um, it would be nice to get 16 GB, but I just don't have two 8 GB modules at the moment. And I have a 240 GB Kingston A400 solid state drive. For Wi Fi, we have an Intel dual band wireless AC7265 Wi Fi card, and there's also Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, being that this is fourth generation Intel, we have Intel HD 4400. However, if you do get the version with the fifth generation Intel CPU, you do get Intel HD 5500. Because this was purchased from British Columbia Canada government auction, it's very typical to get the lower end resolution display panels. This is a 1366 by 768 display at 60 hertz, uh, 14 inches, I should note. However, there are 1600 by 900 and 1920 by 1080 display panels that you could swap out if you desired. Particular to this generation of ThinkPads, we have a six row anti-spill keyboard with the chiclet style keys and of course the typical uh, red touch point and there's no backlit keyboard on this version, but that's all right. And the three-point touchpad is always a nice feature. This one in particular has very little wear and is very responsive, which is nice for a used product. There's that fingerprint reader should you choose to use it. On the left I.O. we have microphone and headphone input, a SIM card and SD card 4-in-1 reader, USB 3.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, VGA display port, and the version of the Kensington lock. On the right I.O. we have the power adapter port, another USB 3.0, air exhaust grill, a mini display port with audio, and a USB 3.0 always on for charging your cell phone, etc. And an optional smart card reader right there. The top panel and bottom panel are glass fiber reinforced plastic, fairly durable. Um, and here we have a port for the docking bay. And in this particular model, we have a external six cell battery and an internal three cell battery for some pretty long use battery life as we'll see later on when we do the gaming tests. Overall performance for general use is quite nice. Uh, everything is super snappy. Um, as you can see, pictures load. Of course, this is a fast internet connection. However, the combination of at least eight gigabytes of RAM and the solid state drive is pretty nice. For watching YouTube videos or surfing for pictures or whatever, this would be perfectly fine for general office work, Office 365, LibreOffice, um, doing a variety of different tasks, and for the type of video editing that I do with uh, Movavi Video Suite 16, I would still be able to edit in 1080p resolution with, with some kind of ease. Um, so if you are a video or photo editor, this definitely is an option. The audio on this laptop is not too bad. There is Realtek HD audio, uh, two stereo speakers, and it sounds all right. Of course, you could always use a Bluetooth speaker for better audio performance. Webcam is the typical 720p HD resolution. So we have my gaming SSD hooked up via USB 3.0 that houses all of my Steam games. But first we're going to try some games from the Epic Games Store, specifically Fortnite and Sonic Mania. So the best optimization I've found is to have the display windowed at a 1280 by 720 resolution and of course we're going to have to do performance lower graphical fidelity. Let's see how this performs. Alright, so I'm not expecting great performance, I'm just expecting some level of playability. Alright, so we are averaging around roughly 30 frames per second 
Um, so it's playable enough to do what I just did, so that's pretty good in my eyes. Um, yeah, we'll call this game definitely playable in a pinch. And now for the lower end, we'll try out Sonic Mania. Alright, there's definitely no problem playing this game. A uh, bit of a retro experience. Yeah, let's check this one off the list. Next up is Left 4 Dead 2. Alright, so this is one of my favorite games to test on older systems. Uh, so far, so good. We're on a mixture of medium to high settings and optimized to play well full screen. And we're sitting at 80 frames per second. Basically, we're going from mid 60s to mid 80s. Uh, let's see what happens once we get some action going. Ooh. Missing everything. Well, anyway, gameplay is totally smooth. Um, it actually looks really good on this display, even though it's the uh, standard 1366 by 768 resolution. Um, I'm happy with this, so we'll call this totally playable. All right, so this is another common game that I test. We know that a whole lot of lower end games will work on this laptop. Let's push it a little bit and run Tomb Raider on a mixture of low and medium settings. All right, so we're gonna keep it full screen, and if you've seen any of my ThinkPad videos, you know I like to test this game at this level because there's a lot going on on screen and there's some combat involved as well. So let's test it out. So we're averaging around 30 frames per second, dropping down to the mid-20s. Alright, so we made it to the cutscene with no screen tearing and no drops in performance. Let's see how it looks with combat. Alright, so performance is actually really great. Uh, we're still sitting like mid-20s to high to 30s frame per second, but as you can see, that's definitely enough to play the game. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that Tomb Raider 2013 is totally playable on the system. So I wanted to make note that I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance of the batteries. I've been doing all the gaming and playing with uh, full brightness on the display panel uh, with no power adapter connected and we're still sitting at 61%, one battery fully charged and the second battery at 51%. Very impressed by two used batteries of this age. A nice feature of this T450 is that it is relatively easy to service. Let's take the battery out and let's remove the back panel and take a look at the motherboard and the upgradable features. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and maybe something like a plastic guitar pick to score along the bottom of the case cover. All right, so here we have the three cell internal battery. And if you do do any service, you are able to disconnect the battery from the motherboard right here. Uh, we have the 2.5 inch hard drive or solid state drive bay, where we currently have our Kingston hard drive. There's our audio stereo speakers. Uh, right under this flap here, we have two DIMM slots. Um, so currently we just have the eight gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz. Here's our CPU fan, uh, general heatsink particular to this model. Um, if you wanted to service and put new thermal paste, just four screws will easily remove this heatsink and no problem. Uh, there's not even a screw holding this down. Over here, there's our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card and there's an optional slot right here. We have an M.2 slot right here that you can put the WWAN card or have a M.2 SSD, which I'm probably going to do uh, for a video sometime in the future. As you can see, this is fairly easy to service and upgrade, which is a very nice feature, makes it very accessible. So what I recommend this ThinkPad T450 for use in 2023 and onward, absolutely. 
uh, when considering what laptop to purchase for yourself, it's really important to consider what do you really need to do with your device. Do you really need to spend an extra two to $500 on something brand new just for maybe it's extended warranty or some other feature that might already be covered by a device just like this? Uh, don't be fooled and definitely do some research and check out the product specifications research videos just like this and see if it's a good fit for you. I could definitely see myself using this for my work on a daily basis um, and I would recommend it for others as well, not just because I will be selling it but because I do trust the product. So hopefully this video helped you out and let me know if you're considering purchasing one or if you already have one if you feel I missed something. And yeah, ask any questions and I'll very likely answer them. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.